How's it going guys, Zabby here, and today we're going to be heading to Russia. Now this is a great, great place. If you guys are looking to catch some big fish, this is an awesome place to come. So what we're going to be targeting here is, first off, the Beluga, which is basically a gigantic sturgeon. This thing is absolutely crazy. I'm going to warn you guys uh, right now, you cannot keep this fish. You will have to pay a $25,000 fine to keep this fish in this game. Uh, however, it's still fun to catch. You still get the XP, plus it's big, and it's always nice to catch big fish. On top of that, we're going to be going after some common carp here. We're going to go after the uniques, obviously. But I will show you guys a carp spot. Also, we're going to be going after uh, some pike. Some unique pike. Hopefully, we can get one on in this video. But there's a couple pike spots here. And lastly, but certainly not least, we're going to be going after some wells catfish as well, which are some big, big catfish, guys. Uh, there are some other fish that you can catch here if you guys want to check, but I'm not going to be showing them in this guide. We're just going to be going after some of the bigger, uh, unique guys that we can go after. So let's go to location here. And just like always, guys, we're going to do a little bit of pre-scouting, all right, to kind of have an idea. So if we look here, the Beluga gets up to 59 kilograms, so it's absolutely huge. Uh, you're going to need a big setup for this, guys. You're going to need a big setup. Don't come here with a small setup, bottom line. Common carp, they get up to about 17 kilograms max, so... Uh, you know, you can obviously go smaller than that, but the the big uniques of the common carps do get up to 17 kilograms For the pike, uh, let's go click on the right thing there 19.955 kilograms is the biggest one that's been caught in the last week The Wells catfish guys gets up to about 54 kilograms So around the same as the beluga if you guys are gonna be catching the catfish You're gonna need a big setup the belugas are just commons, but the unique Wells catfish and the common beluga get up to very very big sizes guys you're gonna need heavy duty equipment so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm bringing now there is i don't have a sp specific setup for right when you hit 46 or anything like that but basically what i'm gonna be using is the heavy chaser 310s you guys have seen me use these a lot we got the leviathan 10,000s on there now i do have some 31 kilogram line on here with a titanium leader i'm only bringing titanium leader in case there's some pike i don't want to lose my gear but uh, I also have 30 kilogram line on here as well. It's kind of just whatever you guys want to use. Now, it's not the most balanced setup in the world, but until I can afford some of the fancy new reels that uh, just came out, I'm not going to upgrade them just yet. We're going to be using 8-0 hooks here, guys, for the belugas and the catfish. You will get some pike on these 8-0 hooks as well. And we're going to be using large minnows. Now, I am bringing a carp rod as well just to show you guys some carp stuff. So for here, I'm going to be using uh, Deep Horizon 420. With a Leviathan 8,000, 22.2 kilograms set up there. 20.85 kilogram line. We got a 20.4 kilogram carp leader. I'm going to be using two hook size here because they are a little bit smaller than when we were in a Weeping Willow. And then for bait, obviously, I'm just going to bring a bunch of boilies and stuff. And I'm going to bring some peas along as well. For um, a, a lure setup, I'm going to be bringing a Loki. Now, this is a pretty underweight setup. But if we do get a unique pike on this setup, it's going to get a lot, a lot of XP. And I'm just going to bring along a casting spoon. You don't necessarily need to bring this along, guys. I'm just bringing a little bit of everything just so I can do uh, all sorts of different kinds of fishing. But again, guys, there is the setup here. Let me just uh, turn off the webcam quick so you guys can see it. If you guys want to pause right now, now would be a good time to do it. There's my other setup. Here is my carp rod. And there is my uh, lure setup. So yeah, if you guys want to take a look at that, pause go ahead look at that uh you guys have seen these setups before for bait wise guys i'm going to be bringing large cut bait large minnow shiners small minnows and uh, of course peas now i do have a bunch of different hook sizes here but i'm going to be using the 8 uh maybe if you're just coming for pike you can go a little bit smaller but other than that guys you don't really need much else to come here so let's grab an advanced license before we leave and let's go to russia all right guys when you get to russia come on down to all hail the pioneers it's at the very bottom here by the train you're just going to spawn in it's going to look like this we're going to head to the right here and we're going to go right by the uh, train bridge here and you can see actually the train is coming in right now so we're just going to go a little bit more to the right here uh, you guys are going to hear the train coming in if you guys have never been here before it's one of those uh lively things they added like they got that plane in in blue crab and stuff like that now the alligator in peru but basically guys we're just gonna fish in these spots right here now over to the left you can see here i do have some markers here these are just deep holes here i've caught a few catfish and stuff in there i just like to spread out my lines a little bit but over here there's a beluga right there unique wells catfish trophy wells cat and then over here are some more spots i've fished i've caught some stuff i just never placed markers for them 
Uh, but yeah, so basically all we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna go to peak time here. So it's about 5 o'clock. We're gonna head right to 7. Just go straight to 7. And we are gonna cast one over there into those deep holes I showed you guys on the map earlier. If you guys want to set some markers out there, feel free to go ahead. If you don't want to fish there, though, you don't have to. So we'll clip that one there. And then we're going to cast uh, two or three over in this area. Cast one at the back there. Now, it's very, very deep, guys, all the way around here. So don't worry about getting in a specific spot every time. As long as you're in the general area, it's going to be very, very deep and you're going to get some fish. So we'll do this one a little bit closer. We'll do this at the first marker or around there. And then we're going to do another one to the right. But yeah, you guys can fish further to the right, more out of the map if you want. Uh, just experiment where you want to go. I'm just fishing over here just because that's where I've caught them. And there is one more beluga spot. And I guess you can get some wells there as well. Uh, sh I will show you guys. Uh, we'll go a little bit more to the right with this one. Just so it's not in the exact same spot. There we go. We're going to go ahead and clip that one. And now all we got to do is wait, guys. You can also lure fish here if you want. If you guys noticed when I did bring up one of these, um, I think it was a trophy. I did get this trophy wells on uh, a casting spoon, which is kind of crazy. Uh, it's not going to happen too often, but you guys can get pike here as well. So if you want to lure fish while you're waiting, feel free to go ahead. All right, guys, looks like we have our first fish on here in this spot. Hopefully it's a decent sized fish. Uh, a nice beluga would be great. It looks like it's probably a smaller wells catfish or even a pike. But either way, I just wanted to show you guys my first catch and then I'll show you guys my other catches. Because, you know, I'm very misleading in my videos, so I don't want you guys to think you can catch fish here when uh, clearly I edit every single video just to show me catching fish. But anyways, there's a Wells cat. I'll keep fishing for some more bigger ones. Hopefully we can get a Uni Wells cat or a trophy. All right, guys, we got another fish on here. Hopefully it is a big one. Looks like it's a little bit bigger than the other one. Could be a Beluga or a Wells cat. Hopefully it's a beluga. This is definitely bigger than the last one, guys. Definitely bigger. I wouldn't mind a unique wells here. I would not mind that at all. You guys gotta remember, I'm using 30 pound line or 30 kilogram line. So 60 pound test at minimum here, guys. So don't come here with a super small setup and expect quick fights. It's gonna take you a while. Um, if you're going to come here at all, either a really good float rod, really good bottom rod, you guys should be okay to come here. Hopefully, let's see. Oh, that's a beluga. That's a beluga. We got it. We got one. And I'm going to show you guys, you can't keep this fish. Even if you have an advanced license, you can't keep this fish, okay? So, don't make the mistake I did. I accidentally hit keep out of habit. And had to pay a $25,000 fine. Do not make that mistake. I'm warning you right now. You're going to want to punch yourself if you do. You can see here. Look at this bad boy. Oh, it glitched, of course. Look at this thing. 42 kilograms. 2,000 XP. $3,300. Let's go into pitcher mode here. Just so you guys can kind of get an idea of how big this fish is. Just look at that. Look at how big that thing is. It's an absolute animal. All right, we got another one on. Oh, I almost did it again. Whew, that was close. Gotta be careful, guys. So we got one over from this other spot here. Uh, I found mostly Wells catfish from the spot to the left there and mostly pike. But you can still get beluga in there as well. It's just another spot to throw your line out. And what did we grab? We got grabbed a little tiny Wells cat. All right, guys, we got some fish on here. Hopefully this is a decent sized Wells. That would be nice. Give us at least a trophy. Oh, actually, that's a big old pike. So there you go. There's a unique pike right there, boys. That's awesome. So you guys know you can catch pike over here. I will show you another pike spot, though. Don't worry about it. You guys can see here, it does die out a little bit, but the speed that you bring in the fish here is um, is pretty good, guys. So if you're looking for somewhere to, to go, you know, you're a higher level and you're kind of bored of fishing at, you know, blue crab and stuff all over the place... Uh, maybe come check out Rush if you've never been here before. Because this is one of the places I avoided. As a lot of these European lakes I just really didn't go to. Because I just wanted the power level super, super fast. But uh, I've been having a lot of fun exploring all these other lakes, guys. So if you, if you guys are looking for somewhere else to fish, definitely come here. Give it a shot. And I will show you guys some more spots. There's a nice little trophy wells catfish for us. 
All right, guys, so what you're going to want to do is either come to this uh, Chica Creek spot here or get in your boat and do this. Basically, all we're going to do, guys, is walk out here this way. I'll show you guys on the map exactly where we're going to go. So we're going to go out towards these markers here, this deep, deep spot over here. Now, again, you can get there by boat, so it's really up to you what you have. But I wanted to give the option that if you don't have a boat, you can still definitely get out here and come down to that spot. It's just going to be a little bit of a walk, all right? All right, guys, so when you pull up here, double check your map just to make sure you're casting into the deep areas here. Because so you can see there, it's pretty deep all the way around there. Um, there's my markers, guys, if you want to place them there. I'll show you how far to cast out with this one, just because it's a little bit further. Uh, but anywhere in that deep spot, you're going to catch some fish. All right, guys, you can get wells, you can get beluga. I'm sure you can get some pike here. I don't know if I've ever caught a pike here, but I'm sure you can get some pike here as well. Uh, so let's see how many meters it's out. Just so you guys kind of have an idea. So it's about 41 meters out. I will throw the conversion up for you guys as well. Like I always do. But basically anywhere there guys. You're going to have a pretty good time catching some beluga and some catfish. Alright. Alright guys we got a fish on from this spot. It looks like it's a decent size which is good to see. It might be a beluga. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between the belugas and the catfish here guys. If I'm being honest. They fight pretty similar. They're just lots and lots of dead weight. But this is a good sized fish. Let's see here. That is a beluga. You can tell just by how pointy its nose is there. But wow. This is going to be a big one, guys. This is going to be an absolute big one. Come on. There we go. Lots of dead weight, though, guys. Lots and lots of dead weight. Uh, I'm going to tr start trying including a little bit more of the fights. I'm not going to include every single fight with every fish. But you guys did say you wanted to see more of the fights. Uh, one tip I'm going to give you guys right away is um, if they're if they're running with it, just let them run with it. Just let them run with it. Don't, don't keep reeling in. Just let them run with it. But yes, uh, I'm going to try and include them a little bit more from now on. I might shorten them up a little bit if they're super long, stuff like that. Just because I don't want the videos to be too long, but I'm going to even up the drag here a little bit. This is a big fish, guys. Wow. Maybe, just maybe we'll get a top 100 fish uh, while I'm recording. That'd be kind of cool. I don't think I've ever gotten a top 100 when recording. I've gotten them on stream all the time. That's another thing I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, I stream this game, guys, like almost every single day over on Twitch. My link is down in the description if you want to stop by, hang out, shoot the shit. Um, we get a bunch of people helping each other out in there. It's a good time. So definitely come stop by the Twitch. And I just want to say thank you for all the support over the last few weeks, guys. It's been absolutely crazy. Uh, just I just can't say thank you enough, guys. Seriously. It, it really means a lot to me that you guys are enjoying the game. And hopefully the game only gets better from here on out. Wow, this is a fight. This is a fight. I'm going to quiet up here, guys. And I'm going to uh, do some speed up here just so you guys know what the scene and watch the whole thing. But you can tell this is a very, very long fight. You guys see what I mean about dead weight, though? It's just completely dead weight. Holy crap. 59.18 kilograms. 3,300 XP, $4,700. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Look at the size of that thing. Holy crap. Let's take a, let's take a picture of that one. That is absolutely insane. Let's see where that ranks on the, uh, on the leaderboard here. 59.18. That is absolutely crazy. So let's just go to the leaderboard here. Let's go to Russia. 59.18. Oh, so yeah, it's actually up there, guys. Uh, yeah, it'll be... Nine. Yeah, so it'll be around here. So it is a top 100 fish that we just caught. You'll love to see that. 
Uh, so you guys know this this spot works great too. And again, you can get wells here, guys. I'm gonna move on to the pike spot now because I don't think I can upstage getting uh, that beluga right there. All right, guys, for the pike, we're gonna come back to the first spot. All hail the pioneers. And we are gonna walk to the left a little bit. It's really, really sunny out right now. Like that is actually blinding. Uh, but we're gonna move down to the left a little bit here. And these are the two pike markers. Now I will pull out my map so you guys kind of have an idea, but there's the barge guys to kind of give you guys a little bit of um, some reference. There's the little barge there. But let me pull this out just to show you guys exactly where to mark. Uh, so this is right next to the, the first spot. There's a trophy pike and there is another trophy northern pike. So we're going to fish around here, guys, and hopefully we can catch something. I'm going to go down to, uh, let's see, let's go down to 60 hooks. So not too small, not too big. Uh, 70 works as well, but we're, I'm going to go to 60 just for now. Uh, we're going to use large minnows. Shiner's obviously going to work here too, guys. But I'm going to go throw my line in the water in this spot and that spot, and then hopefully we can get something good. Now, that one is 62 meters out from here, guys, but it's going to be a little bit different if you're near the barge or whatever. So the best thing to do is just copy my map here, set the markers in a similar spot, and you should be good to go in terms of casting out there. That's probably an easier way of doing it. But I will throw the conversion up 62 meters from there. I'll throw that up. And then also this spot right here, I'll throw this one in and I will throw the conversion up for you guys as well. So that one's a little bit short. So 28, we'll do like 28 to like 33 meters should be good. A good bet there. I'll throw the conversion up for you guys there. But again, just copy the markers on the map. You can always delete them after you catch a fish. So not a big deal. But I'm going to fish here for a little bit, guys. Hopefully I can pull in some decent pike. All right, guys, we got some fish on here. Hopefully they are pike. Now, you can get catfish and stuff here too, guys. So, pretty much any of these spots, you can catch a little bit of everything. So, don't be too picky, but it's kind of hard to target a specific fish here. Uh, this could be a decent-sized pike, though. I think it's a pike. Yeah, it is. All right, all right. Love to see that. There you go. Nice trophy pike. 1700 bucks. And we are going to bring this one in, too. Now, this one could be a catfish or a beluga. Or it's a uni pike. But you guys can see these spots are very, very good. Super, super fun to fish here, guys. And I just wanted to show you guys uh, kind of where I've been fishing ever since I came to Russia here. And, uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. There's a trophy pike from that spot. And you guys can basically fish in any of these spots. You'll catch pike, you'll catch catfish, you'll catch beluga. So it's really just uh, wherever you guys want to fish. After I bring this bad boy in here, we are going to go over to the carp spot and I will show you guys where to grab some common carp. Uh, it might be tough to bring in some uniques, but you can use the bottom rod for it too, guys. Uh, so you don't have to use a carp rod. Uh, it's just you need them for boilies and stuff. But if you want to use some peas or something, come here with that. You should be all right to get some carp here, even though they, didn't, they don't get that big. And I definitely recommend Weeping Willow. If you're going to be going after carp. But yeah, actually, there you go. There's a big old catfish. There's a big old catfish, boys. Unique wells. 35 kilograms. 5,000. Let me go ahead and mark that one. Let's mark that one. So actually, this has actually been crazy how many good fish we're catching here. There you go. We'll mark that one. We got one on three here. Let's bring this rod up. Oh, it was lost. Not a big deal either way. Let's head over to the carp spot, guys. All right, guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over to the very far right spawn point here called Resting Waters. Now, you can fish uh, from whichever side you like. However, I'm going to go fish on the other side where my markers are. So you got to do, guys, just run all the way around. All right, guys, so we are now here. That's where we're standing on the map if you want to try to find the exact same spot. But here are some markers. There's a common carp, a unique common carp. Those are with the banana ones you can buy here. Sweet corn. And then there's one with semolina balls down here as well. So it's really up to you guys where you want to fish here. Let me just skip ahead to tomorrow. Actually, we're going to go to day three just because it's the middle of the day and that's best for carp. So let's go to day three here and then I'll show you guys what hook size to use and what baits I'm going to be using. All right, guys, we are on day three. We got a nice peak in the middle of the day. It's nice and sunny out. So what we're going to do here is in my notes, I was using four row barbless hooks for these, uh, these regular rods. Now, however, I only have um, a couple of them. 
I'm going to use these X series ones here. It doesn't really matter. You guys can test around with them as much as you want. But you guys got to remember these carp here are smaller than they are in Weeping Willow. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw some peas on these. Uh, I'm actually just going to use three of them. And I'll leave large minnows on that one. And then for the carp rod here, I'm using actually two O hooks on the carp rod. So a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to go with some citrus boilies here. Again, guys, whatever you want to use. Uh, I've caught on those banana ones and stuff like that. It's really up to you guys. So all I'm going to do is cast out here. I'll give you guys the uh, the distance, the conversions, all that jazz. So let's just go right out to this marker here. So you guys kind of have an idea of where to cast. Uh, but you guys can always make your own markers. So 27 meters. I will throw the conversion up for you. And then uh, let me just do these other ones here. It's actually about 31 as well. So I'll throw the conversion up for that one. We did 30, that's okay. We'll throw one more just out here in any random spot. Not a big deal. We'll just go put it right about there. Clip it, it's about 30 meters. Again, guys, make your own markers. I will throw conversions up, but uh, let's go and try and catch some carp. All right, guys, we got one on the carp rod here. Again, I just want to let you guys know, you can use different size of carp hooks than I'm using too. 4-0 carp, carp hooks will work as well. And you can also uh, lower the the hooks on the bottom rods as well it's really up to you guys it's not an amazing spot for carp fishing but it's not bad either i'm going to catch a few more just to show you guys you can catch them here and then we will call it a day here in russia all right guys we got another carp on here hopefully it's a half decent size it looks like it's a pretty tiny one though and this is kind of what it's going to be here guys it's not going to be amazing for carp fishing it's going to be um Pretty small carp you're going to get here, guys, all right? I'm not going to show you any more, but you can catch uniques here as well. Um, if you're going to come here, carp fishing is probably not one of the things you're going to want to do, or at least not one of the main things. You're definitely going to do better off going after beluga, going after catfish, going after pike. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like Twitch, where I stream five days a week. Come hang out live. It's a lot of fun. Also, make sure to come type a comment. Tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.